If you've been on the internet for more than a few years, you've definitely seen the Vojak meme, which has taken many forms and categories. One of those categories is the internet user archetype called Doomer, and many others like Bloomer, Coomer, Consumer, but today we're going to be focusing on the Doomer one. Doomer is an archetype slash meme that usually represents a young male between 16 and 30 who has lost all the interest in life and sees it as pointless torture while feeling a never-ending loneliness even when surrounded by friends or family. Also, Doomer partakes only in things that are superficial and easy, walks around moping, drinks constantly, works a dead-end job just to survive, but uses all of the money for cheap and easy dopamine instead of investing into a long-term joy, because there is no point in that. And I was in a way one of those people who just wasted their life away, living a self-absorbed and pathetic life. But after a realization that it was a stupid way of living, I decided to make a short film about it. So last year I released a video called Doomer, a short film, and a lot of people resonated with it. I can't tell you exactly why, but I have a feeling that it's because most young people feel some form of alienation and pointlessness, which is amplified to the next level by all the internet personalities and social media feeds. But here's the ironic part. Even though the internet and social media makes us feel more lonely due to the overabundance of fake posts and touch-ups on everyone's lives to make them look more pleasant and happy, social media also helps us find people with same problems and point of views. That's where the Doomer meme and sites like Reddit, 4chan and other similar forums come into play for the main topic of this video. Subreddit r slash doomers started off as a good place for people to vent and talk out their frustrations on life, joke about the meaninglessness of it and share art that might actually help one another. Of course it has some detractors that posted random shit and posers liking the aesthetic and having angst, these were usually young teens who were still ignorant to a lot of things in life but felt some sort of general sadness which is normal for teenagers. But in general everyone tried to help one another in dealing with life and relating, but that's where we start to get into a muddled territory. By creating a bubble which you start to go out of less and less, you alienate yourself from the real life. Everything starts to look more bleak and the ideas that you share with one another in that community start to amplify. It's like a joke of being a pig fucker. I can't remember which comedian said it, but the joke goes somewhat like this. You know, back in the day when there was no internet, if you liked to fuck pigs, you went to do it and afterwards you thought to yourself, what is wrong with me? Maybe I shouldn't do it, it's not a right thing to do, but nowadays you can go on the internet, just write pigfuckers.com and have a great time with a whole community who is into the same fucked up shit as you and it doesn't feel as weird. That's why the internet was a mistake. So you see where I'm going with this. Even though there is a community that helps you live your life and share the same problems or dreams that doesn't mean that it's good for you in the long run because it makes you feel okay while you could be better. It's like the same thing with obese people feeling okay about their health by hearing stuff like fat is beautiful. Yeah, maybe, but just to some point. When you're so fat that you can't even walk, that means it's killing you. So back to r slash doomers. The subreddit grew in size, but as it grew in size, the ideas and the way people saw life also changed. It went from a more passive sadness and aimlessness to a more radical stuff, like woman bashing, because most of those people were men that were hurt by women. And also, the pictures with these like suicide attempts started to pop more often. It started to become similar to like an insult or a far right stuff. And the blame for this lifestyle started to fall more and more on the others, basically, on society in general for not giving the poor little doomers the things they were promised, like a loving wife, 
a supportive friend group and a satisfactory job, all the things you have to work for. But these people, same as me, just gave up instead of putting in the work. But here comes the happy ending that actually comes to a lot of those people. Well, maybe not a happy, but a realistic one. With the rise of toxic and harmful posts on the subreddit, there was also a rise of posts where people said goodbye to all of those other members of the subreddit, writing long explanations for their decisions to leave it, and how all that content actually makes them more miserable in the long run. That's the same thing that happened to me. I started to work on more short films and stopped the self beating that was making me way more sad. And now the subreddit is deleted. I have no idea where all those people are nowadays. Yeah, there is a similar subreddit called Doomer, but it's a lot more mild with some actual advice for one another to make their lives better, even if some post with radical stuff comes up once in a while. So if you have some problems and are considering in joining a community, think about if it's going to be actually good for you, if you can stay out of a bubble. Because when you're fully in, it's hard to burst it and see life from a different point of view.